It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's, a whole lot, a lot of going on. it's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get. A lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. Hey, creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? Baby, it's time to strap up because Mariah Carey already said. Yes. And you know when she said that, November needs to go on and get up out of the way. We are about to be in December 2025 is right around the corner. I just wanna say congratulations to you for being a soldier, for fighting through all of 2024. Baby, we have been through so much. And for you to still have your mental, even if you had a little bad day or whatever the case may be, you're still here and I congratulate you. So shouts out to you, friend, because this motherfucking thing called life Ain't easy. All right, honey. Besides all that little sweet shit, let me go on and shout my friend out, and that is Kaya. Hey, bitch. Kaya, thank you so much for having my post notifications on. That means so much to me. You were the first to comment on my Twitter post. I don't know how y'all be doing it, but you be doing it. So if y'all can go over to her Twitter page, give her a retweet, a post, a follow, whatever the case may be, I would greatly appreciate that because we are a Zone Navy and a Zone Navy sticks together. All right. Hey, bitch. All right. Well, let's go and get to y'all favorite part, man. the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Sky Jackson. Child, they don't call him. Where's Jackson? We already knew she was pregnant, but now we know for sure Sky Jackson is pregnant. As you can see, she had her little jacket on, her nice little bonnet with her pink little boot shorts, but that ain't what everybody was looking at, honey. They was looking at that stomach. If I was Scott, whoever took this picture, bitch, you gotta see me. Cause how you gonna tell my business before I tell my business? But, honey, what's Sky? Why? Why you squat? Why you going and do this? I can't tell Miss Mamas what to do, but what I know she need to do <laughs> is, is stay out these streets. But no, a serious question. Do they not have a car? <laughs> because last time they was out on the belt line, tussling, no car. She was walking this time, no car. Busting again, no car. Bitch, where's the car? Y'all, at this point, this should have just stayed at Disney. But I don't know, child. Sky, you was that girl. How you let Ice Fight? It's always that one boy that come in there and just make everything come crashing down. All right, that's her life. All we can do is let her live it. But you wanna know something? I think them people who be catching her and him on the street, that's some of his people. We ain't never seen Scott this much. That's his folks. His folks want us to know what they doing. They together want him to be this guy who's dating Scott. You know what? If it ain't about me. Now she stuck with Ice Spice and his Baby, next cat. Next to the dog cat, we got Diamond, Diamond Flawless and Bad, Bad Man Campbell. <laughs> so Diamond came to the internet and she said, Boy, I never should have dated Bad Man Campbell. I, I said, well, bitch, do you think? You the dumb one. Girl, they came, because mind you, the shade room came and showed us that they were dating earlier this year, around in January. And she also even went and got that man named tattooed on her. But I'm over here thinking like, bitch, you stupid. Girl, we could have told you that was the trade. What did you think was gonna happen coming from a man that got a big hill? Bitch, is you crazy? Girl, Miss Kay even got her knees done. Go away. You thought that was gonna be a good relationship? I know you laughed. Girl, Diamond, you over there the Transformer. <laughs> you a whole new person. Bitch, Autobots, roll out. 
ain't none of my business. Girl, Miss Thing got her ass did. <laughs> Shut up. Ain't that, um, what's his name? Uh, bro, sister, uh, what's his name? CJ so cool. One day good sisters at first. <laughs> Yeah, she told you so. And she liked him because he looked like her daddy, as you can see. So she got daddy issues. I don't know. <laughs> he in the comments talking about he ain't never date her. <laughs> Messy. I don't know. Well, child, I guess she about to be on the internet crashing out again. Y'all get prepared. <laughs> Lord have mercy, Jesus. Nerd, she's out again. If it ain't about me, let's eat this cake. Next on the docket, we got one Mickey and a B. Now, child, I don't know what the fuck going on with all these crazy ass couples, but where the hell did they meet at? Obviously, it was at a Trump rally because I don't know what the fuck going on. Not Miss I'm Saved and Sanctified, whoa, Vicky. Not Miss I've Been Baptized, Filled with the Holy Ghost, I'm whoa, Vicky. Not Miss I Done Turned My Life Around, I'm going straight to heaven, whoa, Vicky. Not I'm Mother Mary Virgin, whoa, Vicky. <laughs> And what the fuck, Nunu? She out here trying to fight the girl, uh, what's her name, Anna or something? You should have been worried about Vicky. That's your problem. So y'all be worried about the wrong woman and the other woman, the woman that's on your man dick. Bitch. But the word on the curve is the girls are saying they both a little slow, so, <laughs> so it's going to work. I don't know. Don't get me like, I ain't say That's what the girls said. And let's take it back. Did she not learn her lesson from fucking with boot guy? You know what? Nuno finna split her in half. I just wanna know how long that no sex into marriage lasts, cause bitch, he finna throw some dick in. <laughs> girl, you always on your post talking about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So, girl, you know what? I ain't never fell for it anyway, but I'm just saying. But anyway, if it ain't about me, whoa, Vicky, this ain't pleasing to G-O-D. <laughs> Next case. Next for the sugar and iced tea, we have Santana and Tyrone. Bitch, <laughs> these couples and shit stressing me out. What is going on in the water? I don't want to drink shit. Tyrone, Santana, well, Vicky, AP. Anyway, Santana was just on the red carpet with BET or who was in the shade room, whoever. All bubbly and giggly with glitters and shit. Talking about his man and how he was so happy and stuff. But then come to find out, I tried to be in put paws on him. Beat him stupid. Dumb. 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 Not him dumb. Girl, bet it the f*** out of me. So now I'm looking at, I'm looking around at my friends and I see them. Girl, everybody quiet as a mouse. So now I'm shame. So we just right here. I'm like, y'all just hate me. I'm he tripping. Like, you always put your mouth in here, though. So next thing you know, we get back to the hotel. We get there. He like, I'm sorry for putting my hands on you. You just really be trying to like a um, we trying to take it down with you or whatever. But like, I we lay down or whatever. He just telling me like, you know, he's sorry. You don't really be, you know what I'm saying? I be trying him. And so telling your mouth sometimes, huh? You probably do be taking it too far. That boy not wait there. Don't disrespect him or whatever. So he was just telling me how he mean that. How he really, really loved me. And he rocked me to bed. <laughs> now see what don't sit right in my spirit is you making it seem like domestic violence is cute. Like that toxic shit is nice. That shit is not cute. Some girls are really going to hospitals and dying behind this shit because they really can't let go. You out here having fun with like it's all oh, he bust me through the washer dryer, then he cuddled me down, rocked me to bed. Okay, girl. When he rock you into that six feet under grade, don't say nothing, girl. Y'all be let these men think that that shit is cute. Well, I ain't gonna lie, y'all two big men. So y'all can do what y'all want to do. If y'all want to rustle around like. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep eating this game. All right, that's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First on the ducket, we have Bronte, Aaliyah J, and Justin. So child, Justin and Aaliyah J had went onto their YouTube channel, made a video. They discussed about content creators and their material that they're putting out now, and this is what they had to say. As far as YouTube mm -hmm. or content creation, where are you at with that? Like, I don't know, because I feel like the market is so like different now. Like, I feel like now you could go viral if you woke up to somebody in a, a Walmart and be like, ma'am, like, your outfit is beautiful and now you get to go viral over that. It's like, I don't understand, like, 
I I don't know. I feel like my content has a little more substance than that. But I have to understand that that's the market now. That's what gets popping now. Like those little um, videos. And I just, I guess I just haven't, I haven't, what I want to say. I don't know what I want to say, to be honest. Um, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I think it's just a different social media time. And I think a lot of people who are like that come from our space of like YouTube do do podcasts now because that's basically what we were doing right like on YouTube podcasts, basically like just sitting now I ain't trying to be messy but that was real specific like oh you going to a store mail your outfit cute and whoa, 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 whoa. if you don't like this man say that say that because that was that was shade baby he want to say it one shade baby that was shade so y'all already know Ramonte ain't buying his stuff for nobody. He gonna say what the fuck he wanna say or how he wanna say it and don't give a damn who don't like what he said. And this is what he said. I be showing love to that bitch. I be commenting under her stuff. I commented under her stuff before. I give it compliments. Woo, 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 woo. Bitch, I wouldn't even go on Walmart. And I didn't go viral off complimenting people. Bitch. Let's make it clear. I have hit viral my videos. You ain't wrong, queen. Your bob is fat. Uh, get off the phone and get in the field. You almost knocked me over, Bookie. Is a fruit roll up sticky? Bitch, multiple, 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 multiple one. I don't give a f Don't mother try to make a steam like, bitch, um, this is what irritates me. These bitches always do like little underlying shit towards me or say something like underlying petty, like catty. So I could like respond and if I respond like how I want to respond, I'm always like aggressive or I'm overdoing it. And then Aaliyah. You sitting over there laughing when it's shading me. What the funny when they was calling y'all big? It wasn't funny when everybody was calling y'all big and making jokes about that. You wanna who? You wanna make them up and it's called y'all huge? Even though you're not, and I was being nice and I was defending your mother. I don't go into Walmart. I go into Target. Don't use me as a comparison. Do something else. Because y'all knew talking about me was gonna end up somewhere and people were gonna tag me. And they did. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, y'all always with me. Y'all always questioning what God gives me and why I'm in the position that I am and why I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm going to keep winning. And I win fights too. But, you know, we off that. Stop talking about me. Stop. Now this is how I feel. Anybody can go and do what Ramonte is doing, right? But it's not what Ramonte is doing that is making him viral. It is his personality. That is who people love. I've seen a lot of people go in Walmart and say something to a customer or whatever the case may be, and the video will have five views. It is Ramonte and how he delivers it. It is him. The people love him, not what he's doing. They love who he is and how he's authentically himself. So I don't know why this person can't be happy for whatever any creator does. It might not be your niche, or what you like to do, or what you like to watch, but there's somebody out there that likes watching what Ramonte does. It may not be your type of content. I do agree, back then, YouTube, you really had to work hard to make videos go viral. You had to work hard for content. But hey, it's a new era where the girls, they like whatever they like now, honey, and you can't get mad off somebody else's come up. Just keep doing your thing. The people who wanna see you are gonna watch you. And the people who want to see Ramonte are going to watch Ramonte. There is enough money out here in these streets for all of us to eat. Because the word on the curb is Justin. They say you only on the blogs is because you be messing with people. And then on top of that, they said they didn't even know you did make up videos, girl. They just thought all you did was talk about your surgeries. Honey, I don't know, bro. They said back in 2016 and 18, you was only good then because she was Alicia J's friend. That's the only reason the girls knew who you was, but. Sprinkle me, girl. And then some folks were saying, why did Ramonte throw the shade at Aaliyah when he should have threw it at Justin? But the game is, Aaliyah knew exactly who he was talking about. Because when I heard it, no, Chino Shay, I knew exactly who he was talking about. So why did she kick in and cackle? She should have corrected him right there and said, well, who are you speaking on? Let him call out who he's speaking on. And yeah, when he said, girl, it wasn't, it wasn't funny when everybody was calling you big. No, no, was it? Girl, I, 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 Girl, it wasn't funny then, but oh, you wanna laugh when he's talking about my content. Oh, okay, I got some, I got some for you. But you know, it is 
what it is. And if y'all still don't understand why he a little bit upset with Leah, because when you edit your videos, you can edit that out, but you kept that in, knowing who that was a reference to. But don't get me to stir in the pot. <laughs> Catch it! If it ain't about me, let's kick it. Let's get. Next for the docket, we got Kelly and Mumu. Mumu. Slow, slow. Because first of all, <laughs> somebody come and fight me. Right? Did Kayla drag her out the car? Somebody come and fight me twice. Oh, did you got me for up? I'm on your neck. Mumu, Mumu. You, want you the same one who was like, you too. <laughs> Got scared, girl. You said, Look, if I can't beat him, I'm gonna join them. <laughs> because now these two will <laughs> seen out as friends. <laughs> I can't stop laughing because this is crazy. This is crazy. Because if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> they can't say. She was fucking with one of the ops. So he like, oh, you fucking with the ops, but I ain't fucking with you. So he ain't claiming her, and she ain't claiming he has a baby daddy. So now I guess since they don't part ways, now Kayla B and Mumu, they friends. You know the fuck what? It's just kind of ironic how Kayla, her friend, never the boy out the picture. But if he was still there, she'll probably still be banging her head through the washer and dryer, baby. But I know she had, but she said, look, you got to go. <laughs> Lord, how am I to you? That is crazy. But it's cool with at least she <laughs> at least she said sorry. Okay. That that would be embarrassing to me. This girl done posted on her Instagram story, sorry Mumu. <laughs> and everybody know how you bust my head in. <sighs> oh, I hope she don't hurt that girl again. If it ain't about me. Okay. Next for the ducket, we have Sierra versus Infinity. Now, child, this is crazy because Infinity now talks to Jordan, who is Sierra's baby daddy. We all know Sierra has been going back and forth with Jordan for I don't know how long about, you know, taking care of the child. Whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. They've been through it for a long time. So, you know, Infinity is making content with him, whatever. Somebody hit her up and said, 
oh, you over there messing with Jordan, but what you need to be doing is him take care of his child, yada, yada, yada. Okay, I'm going to respond to this because I have the time right now, and y'all really just be blowing me for real. Um, you say you mess with Jordan, you should be taking, you should be making him take care of, you should be making him be. <laughs> Like she, she, she knows she shouldn't have answered this in the first place. Anyway, let me let her talk about it. Be a father. I should make someone be a father who's already a father, who's already a great dad to his child. Him, he just have limitations to things right now. So that's real. I feel like that's none of y'all business. And y'all on social media have no control over how people, what people go through on a day to day basis. Like y'all continue to like say bad things, but Joy is a great person, a great father. So I feel like y'all know what y'all know, but continue to know what y'all know. Second of all, they have nothing to do with me, baby. Me and Jordan is not married. Me and Jordan is not in a relationship. They have nothing to do with me. Me and Jordan uh, have fun together. Me and Jordan do content together. Me and Jordan is a vibe together. So that's that's it. That's all. Like all the extra, they have nothing to do with me. That's not my responsibility. Yeah. So yeah, that's not an easy job. You guys want to be to be make. I will say this. She didn't say anything wrong. But it was her wording. Now, if we're gonna be real, you should have just never answered that question in the first place. Because how you gonna sit up here and say he's a good father, but to the mother, she feels a different way. You can't tell the mother how she feels his parenting is when she's the one dealing with him and that child. That's why I tell y'all new girls, when you get into folks' relationships with people who got babies, don't speak on that shit. But when you said he got limitations on what he can do, girl, that's when you cross that line. Even if he do got limitations, there's probably a reason why she got him on this and why he can't do that and why he can't see this. So you don't need to speak on none of that because now it's like you saying the mama is stopping him from being better than what he can be. So now you done brought her into it when you don't know what the fuck they done been through. This man done allegedly, you know, back in the day put his hands on her in the car situation and this and that. And girl, it was a lot, girl. I'll pause right there. Limitations to what? what do you know that I don't know? Because I'm sorry, I didn't know that you were there since Kinsley was born. She three now. Where you been at? Because I ain't never seen you. What limitations? I'm confused. What do you know that I don't know? I'm confused on why you feel like you needed to even answer that comment or respond to anything. I'm confused on why you even feel like you needed to do that. Do you not know how many people be up and down with your name underneath my shit? And if I felt like I needed to respond to that, I would have did that a long time ago. I don't care to respond to you about you. Nothing that has to do with you. You should have picked better when you picked on that you was f***ing. That's not my problem. But don't speak or bring up anything that has to do with me. So let's just let this finish playing. Like that's none of y'all business. And y'all on social media. That's none of their business. It's none of your business. I'm confused. How are you saying that it's none of their business? It's none of your business. This has nothing to do with you. You stay in your place. But we're going to continue. If you're not dating him, if you're not, if they don't have nothing to do with you, why are you clearing up anything, answering anything, responding to anything? I'm confused. I'm, I'm really confused. Now, let me tell y'all why I got a problem with this. This is why I have a problem with this. So we're going to bring this all the way back to January earlier this year. This was strike one. Strike one was when me and Jordan were going into it. I don't know what we were going into it for, but I have the screenshot of when he came in me talking about how with this ass and how he knew this day would come and I'm such a op da, 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 da. come to find out Infinity is the one who told him that I was with I guess her ex I don't know but first of all I would never want anything after you we're going to start there and we're going to leave it there that was my strike one because why are you running back telling Jordan anything like I don't get I just don't get stuff like that but okay cool strike one strike two was when you hopped on YouTube and made videos and now you got in your thumbnail uh, Jordan baby mama, Jordan's ex, Jordan BM, all that little extra shit, that little nitpicking shit, that's strike two. Strike three is you feeling like you need, you have the need to respond to anything that has nothing to do with you. Stop playing with me. At the end of the day, what I need you to do is I need you to stay in your lane and I'm gonna need you to can you continue sucking and making these videos for your content and to pay your rent so we can all have a happy family and be together and be cool and let this be a smooth because this is not the issue you want to walk into no one asks you to speak up no one asks you to put your two cent in no one asks you to confirm or deny anything especially nothing that has to do with my child honestly i'm not even gonna cap to you like i don't know this is the wrong move for you to make i didn't bench out to come to you i didn't dm you you never responded back i tried to go through other people to get to you you never responded back we're gonna 
I'm finna play the clip of him saying, we done already talked about it and she, uh, I told her not to mention you. Know? So if y'all already talked about it, then why today, October 28th, she talking about it? If you already talked about her not bringing me up, why, why is my situation being rung up? You don't gotta say my name. That was close enough. Don't confirm or deny anything that has to do with me. So why is she doing it again? Exactly. So why is it again today? Exactly. And I don't want to hear, oh, she's bitter. She's bitter. No, I'm not. I don't give a fuck about none of that. If I had to say, y'all probably wouldn't be saying that, but it doesn't matter. Either way it go, even if I did have to, he wouldn't even be too, putting his two cents in because it ain't had to do with him. When he came with me, he knew what he was getting into. So that's that on that. See, and, and I agree with everything that Sierra is saying. So now, that means if Jordan come to her saying, I told her not to talk about it, but you over here talking about it after she he done told you not to, now that's like you got a problem with her. Now you being funny. Now you over there, what you and Jordan talk about in the house? What's Jordan putting in your ear, but then running around, go, running around going over here putting in her ear? So the common denominator is Jordan. Jordan making you hate her and her hate you, and really, it's not even y'all, it's Jordan. See, these men be messy. So then, the girl and Fendi post this up as a story. Matter the fact, he ain't with you. And as you can see, you can see all them pictures. Now it's like, okay, see, now you playing in my face. You doing too much. You being, you being real catty, girl. Now you being real catty. Because first of all, what did you want? Did you think I was not going to respond? And now by you doing this, show me that you messy. And then after she says some more, the girl go and she put... Whatever don't pay me, don't phase me. So then after she posted on her story, the shade room put on their page. Sierra didn't stop there. And she said, oh, I don't want to get the film next. Caller! So, I don't know, child. The girl, she may not be responding with tweets and with words like Sierra is doing, but the reason Sierra is responding hard, because she's like, look, girl, don't send me no songs. Y'all gotta listen to what these songs saying. These songs saying, are you mad it's me and it ain't you? You gotta listen to the subliminal songs she's saying, then you're not acting me like, bitch, don't talk shit and not at me. Let the people know you, you got a problem with me. That's why Sierra is upset. That's why she's saying get in the field like, bitch, don't give me no songs. Bitch, don't run that shit, ho. Run me my hands. That's what I need. And I understand what Sierra doing, but you know, to everybody else, it seems like Sierra crashing out and she's talking to herself. That's what I'm saying she's doing too much. Just play it cool. Play it cool with the bitch. Play, play it cool. All right. If it ain't about me, let's get in this case. Next one, okay? We got Corey, Carmen, and Danny. I'm not gonna talk about all this because we'll be here for 24 hours. They controlled all of October. And baby, you got me fucked up. You think I'm gonna talk about that? So we're gonna have to wrap this up real quick. So how we got to where we are now, they was doing all that fussing. Danny was going on podcast after podcast after podcast after podcast after YouTube after YouTube after YouTube after YouTube. Just talking. Corman wasn't saying shit. Corey, he really wasn't even saying shit. Danny just out here just running her mouth. So then she drops that Corey called CPS on Corman in the midst of her leaking all his information, right? So now Carmen's like, wait a minute. Don't bring me up in none of your bullshit with what you and Corey got going on. So then Danny was like, well, I'm just trying to help you. Why you mad at me trying to help you? I'm trying to be a girl's girl. No, you just being messy. Didn't nobody have to know what was going on between him and the kids and Carmen, whatever the case may be. You could have called and told her that privately and said, hey, Corey's the one that called the CPS and got that thing filed on you. You didn't have to say that online. You just wanted to be in a mix of everything. So then Corman went and made the vlog and said what she said. Didn't deal about it. Nobody knew because he he's social media. I'm not the type of person to put my business out there, especially if it involves my kids. I don't care about how you feel. I, I don't, I'm not obligated to post my kids or update chat on my kids. Like, I'm not. Okay, cool. So then when it came down to that lady, I'm not saying no names, y'all, but that lady... It made a, a post on Facebook and said, oh, I'm not talking about Carmen. Why not bringing Carmen into nothing? But CPS, why would you want to put that out there? Like, if you wasn't talking about me, you could have just kept it that and say, I'm not bringing Carmen on into nothing. Simple as that. It wasn't your place to talk about CPS, even though you didn't say Carmen. Kid, you didn't have to mention my kids to know that everybody know that the CPS case involved the kids. Like, even if four, I would have said it too. I would have came right after him. Like, why you got it from the whole world? The CPS is on, is on your kid. 
you know? Okay, so when she came in and said, I'm so lost when I was the one who called the team and what the... Yeah, now I'm lost because you called my team and you told my team what happened, what was said, how it happened. We appreciate you for giving a heads up. Cool. Now, guess what? By the time you call my manager, I'm already dealing with CPA. So by the time you even told him, it was like a confirmation of who called type of stuff because I was already dealing with it. Like, your guy, strangers, the father of my kid, got strangers going to the school to check on CJ to make sure see you good, to make sure see you healthy. Like, I'm so confused. Then you got people harassing me and calling my phone because they will need to see Katie so they can close the case out. Make it make sense for me. If I'm the only person that's taking care of these kids when it comes to food, clothes, everything else that I need to provide for my kids, why in the f will you want to have strangers be in your kids' face? Like, why would you want to put the kids in the system? Why would you want to put a risk that the kids can be taken away from both of us because you don't have a roof over your head? It's been a year and you haven't taken care of your kids, nor financially, emotionally, physically, nothing, nothing. And I'm a kid stressing this as much as I can. You don't know nothing about the kids, but you feel comfortable enough to let people get in your head or it just that you just woke up one day and just... Okay, I'm just gonna call the government and tell the government that these kids are not being taken care of. Are you dumb or are you stupid? And I'm cooking saying that you both because you don't have a brain to think. I'm the only parent that's taking care of two. Not one, but two from Monday to Friday. I have to make sure my kids eat Monday through Sunday. I have to make sure my kids got clothes because they're growing up. I have to make sure my kids keep a uh, haircut. I have to make sure my kids have what they need. But you want to do all of this because what? Because you mad, because you bitter, because you jealous, because you miserable, because you broke, because you wet. Because you wet. And when it comes about my kids, I'm going to always bark and bite if I have to. Because don't come over here and mess with something when these kids are perfectly fine. If I'm not eating, if I look like I'm the one that's going through it, you look like Carmen Tire, Carmen Dre, that's Carmen. That's me. That's how I'm looking. That's what I'm going through. My kids not going to go through that. Like, my kids not finna be looking like they depressed, they don't sleep, they hungry, they this and that. Like, are you dumb? Just dumb, 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 and dumb. Watch out who you have kids by. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, Danny come back and said, well, she said the Carmen trying to go off on her. Bitch, shut the fuck up, Danny. Why you do is talk so goddamn much. She over here mad at Carmen when Carmen said, I just don't want my kids and their business on the internet, which is true from a mother. A mother's going to protect her cubs, baby. That's what she's doing. Keep my child business off the net. So now that all that has calmed down, Cora ends up posting a picture of this girl right here. And I'm just like, how the fuck y'all don't remember who this is? He used to call her twin all the time. Even when I, that's when I was hanging with Cory. He called her twin all the time. It's the motherfucking assistant. Y'all don't remember the assistant pressure? Y'all don't remember her? That's who that is. That's the girl that was hanging out with Corey when he was there in Carmen. And mind you, Corey told Corey that it was nothing but an assistant, but he was over there fucking on the assistant. Y'all catch the motherfucking gang. And then I think um that's when Corey was like, well, you the one who said you wanted me, you were impressed to have a three. I think I'm supposed to be some, some type of three. So remember that all y'all come on, keep up with the motherfucking teeth. They're supposed to have some type of threesome or something like that. And Carmen didn't want to, I don't know what was going on, but it was a whole lot of, whole lot of going on. And pressure, really, she is just, pressure is just a girl who's sitting waiting in her turn. That's what she's doing. She's just waiting her turn. She's showing Corey loyalty. Like, I can be loyal. You can go have fun. You can do what you want to do. Whatever the case may be, run these streets. But I'm going to be here when you get done doing all that. That's why Corey always, that, remember when Corey told uh, pressure, uh, she, she, she reminds, she's wife, but y'all don't, y'all don't remember that? He was like, she wife material, she this and that. That's when he first woke up with Carmen. He said, she's like wife material. She made me feel like this, woo, 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 woo. But then he, that's when he stopped messing with pressure because he started messing with, uh, Maddie. And that's why pressure disappeared because pressure really got feelings for him. But she allowed Corey to do what Corey wanted to do, but she was really hurt. God, I ain't gonna say nothing, let me hush. Anyway, so he started fucking with Maddie. 
And then when he was fucking with Maddie, he ended up meeting that other girl. And he told Maddie she was this and she was that and she was this and she was that. And that's when he met that other girl, Daddy. And then he told Maddie that he told Maddie that Daddy was an assistant and she was gonna do this and she was gonna do that and help with viral moments. Now you fucking on uh Daddy. And that's why Danny really mad. I don't think Danny mad about the the, the lottery stuff. Her little friends doing the the fake uh the fake uh raffles. That ain't what Danny mad about. Danny ain't mad about them fake raffles. No, she not. Danny ain't mad about that. She probably wanted a cut of it. Danny mad because Corey was cheating. That's what it was, and she was cheating too. So Corey was playing the game. She was playing. She over here trying to fuck on these niggas. She thought Corey was gonna just sit there and stay because she had money and he was gonna be a little lap dog while she do what she do. She was trying to play Corey game on Corey, but Corey was playing the game on her too. So Corey was fucking on somebody else, and he already still had pressure on the side. So I guess she don't. And then when he was trying to have that little secret conversation with Danny friend Brittany, that's the deal. That's why she got mad because he was playing in her face while sleeping in her house. So now he fucking back with pressure. And he called her twin because they both Gemini. Oh, let me hush. Pressure. Carmen was loyal. <laughs> Carmen let him do whatever he wanted to do. Let him fuck on hoes. Have threesomes. Everything married the man that can even keep him at home. But if you think you can do it, you go right ahead and you sell up for that rodeo and do what you need to do. Let me hush. Let Corey and Pressure do their thing. Let Carmen and Big Boogie do their thing. And whoever else do what they do. <laughs> They finally done with Corey. Now they talking about they ain't never talked about it. They moved on. Yo, finally. The fuck? If it ain't about me, let's kick it. Let's kick All right, y'all. That's all I got for Messy Monday. Make sure y'all always tune in every Monday. Like I say, if there is nothing important going on in my life, like extremely important, which was my mom's birthday last Monday, I was not about to make no Messy Monday. I was chilling with my mother. The lady that birthed me, yeah, I'm not gonna get here talking about no mess and it's my mama's birthday. No, and I'm not gonna talk about it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. No, so don't DM me. I'm only talking about it on Monday. I don't give a fuck about the mess. We're only gonna talk about it on Monday. All right, if it ain't about me, let's keep eating, okay? Whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on.